Hey guys, happy Monday. I want to make sure I'm in the right group as always. So my name is Ashley Patrick. I am the nutrition and wellness coach for the educators first group. I'm so, oh, says trying to connect. Here we go. I think we're, um, I'm super excited to share on this topic and kind of go through this whole month with goal setting. So the topic for the month is goal setting. And I'm going to break it down into like five different sessions. So this will be session one or part one. Um, and then I'm going to do a part two video also right after this. So I'm going to do two separate videos so you work at your own pace. We are going to be working through this workbook. I did put it in the um, event um, for this topic in the educators first group. Um, if you cannot find it or you want access to it, everyone has access, but if you need me to tag you, I can definitely tag you in it just so you get it right away. There's no confusion or anything like that. So just put, um, guide below and I can tag you in that when I'm done with this video. But basically this is a guide that is gonna start with, um, figuring out what our goals are how to make them specific. So I'm going to share on SMART goals um, and how to create SMART girl goals. And then it's going to go into like our why, what's going to help us stay motivated and stay consistent so that our New Year's resolutions that we may have set already and maybe kind of fell off the wagon with already, um, they can stay month after month and all the way into the new year next year. So this has really helped me get in habit um, and actually reach my goals instead of just saying, hey, I want this to happen. That'd be cool. Um, but not actually having step by step to get to that goal to make it happen. So I am, I think I saw, yes, I am live in this group. So we are good to go. Um, I'm going to bring up my notes on my computer here. I want to make sure I don't miss anything, but we are going to look at in this guide um if you don't have it if you do not print it out yet that's totally fine go after this video go back and print it out and then if you need to um fast forward through this video again and replay it definitely do that so this might be backwards for you guys um but we're gonna go to the page that says my goal planner and it says smart down the side so it's like specific measurable we're gonna go through all that okay so smart goals um, are a really, like when I first heard about SMART goals, it was actually from Mallory. Um, I was in a coaching group, a wives group, and it was talking about just like our goals with our spouse, our goals for yourself. Um, and this can work for any goal. If it's something at your job, like as a teacher or at the school, or it could be a personal goal, a health goal, it can be multiple things. So I know Mallory is going to share a little bit on SMART goals too, so I'm not going to get too in-depth on them. I'm just going to kind of break it down and give you examples so you can kind of understand how to write them and then create them yourself. So that's what the guide book is for, so you can actually go through and write them out. Um, so pick one goal at a time, but you can use this SMART goal I can't even think of what the word is anyways, but you can use this for every goal. So to break it down. So smart goals, um, are something that we can adjust and track all year long. It, it helps us break down the goal instead of saying like, I would like to write a book, a children's book. It breaks it down to like, how are you going to do that? What little steps are you going to do every day or weekly, monthly? Like, how are you going to get there? Okay. So the first part, what SMART goals look like. So the first part of it, the S is for specific. So you want to be specific with your goals instead of, I'll give you an example. So I want to start a podcast this year. Um, I've been thinking about it for a couple of years now and I just want to do it this year. Okay. So in the past, I've just, my goal was to start a podcast and that's it. You know, I didn't break it down. So I'm going to break it down here. Um, so instead of just start a podcast, it's a good goal, but you want to break it down more. So be more specific. So 
something like me that I would say is, like I wrote down here, I want to launch my first podcast episode about nutrition and wellness and pulling it all together as a busy, crazy mom, okay? Um, so that's specific. That is my goal. Instead of write a podcast, it is I want to write a podcast or create a podca- podcast about being healthy and finding nutrition that works for the busy mom, okay? And supporting that busy mom with the mindset and the tr- nutrition, everything that goes into your health. So that's the specific. The next one, M, is for measurable. So measurable, you need to have criteria for measuring progress. You can't just say, I would like to write a podcast because there's no, it's not measurable, okay? Like you have to break it down even more. Um, Otherwise, you won't know which goal to reach for, what the first step would be. So instead of just any podcast, we would say, like, I want to release my first 30-minute podcast once a week starting August 1st. So it is not, I just want to start a podcast. It's, I'm going to release a 30-minute podcast, and I'm going to do it once a week, and I'm going to start August 1st. So do you see how that's a little more measurable than just... I want to release a podcast, you know? Um, So break it down like that to whatever goal you have. Give it a date. Um, The next one is achievable. So ask yourself, do I have the resources and capabilities to do it? Um, If not, what am I missing? What do I need to find? So if you need to complete a course, maybe you need to reach out to people that are doing what your goal is or have achieved what your goal is. So mine would be, um, I could do a course to learn more about podcasting, back up and making sure that I have the equipment to get there. I could reach out um, to other podcasters, like people that I follow and just get their do's and don'ts and kind of compile them together. You know, like start working, what do I need? What do I need right away? What's something that would be nice? down the road, but I don't need it to get started, you know, different things like that. Um, The R is relevant. Um, Why do you want to take on this goal? So who will it impact when you when you succeed or you achieve this? So my goal would be to take on um, starting a podcast. Why would I want to do that? Because I've learned so much knowledge from podcasts and just different People that are going through and have achieved like the life that I want, I've learned a lot of steps from them. So I want to share that with other people that were in my position where I was a year ago or three years ago. Um, So why do you want to do it and who will it impact? If you don't have, and we'll get more into this in the next video, um, but figuring out that why, the why is going to keep you from giving up or letting the excuses step in. It's going to push you to work towards the things, the little steps that you have to do when you don't feel like you want to do it. Okay. So why and who will it impact? Break that down under relevant. And the last one is time bound. So you should have a deadline for yourself to create a sense of urgency and motivation um, to achieve the goal. If you just say, I'd like to lose 30 pounds. Cool. You know, When? When would you like to be down? Break it down. Break it up quarterly. Like by, I'd like to lose 10 pounds by the end of March. And then like 10 pounds every three to four months. Okay. So that's like breaking it down. So make sure it's time bound. Make sure it's kind of realistic too, where it's not like, I want to lose 30 pounds in a week. Okay. Um, Make sure the time is actually something that's possible. Um, So you should have a deadline for yourself. Like I said, so mine would be, I'd like to have the podcast up and running and sharing weekly, like I listed before, by August 1st, because I said that I'm going to do 30 minutes one week or every week sharing starting August 1st of 2022, right? So that is time bound. Um, So I'm going to break it down to, I'm going to reiterate all this. So for my podcast example, here's the SMART goal um, and what it would look like. So I want to launch my first podcast episode about 
being healthy and nutritious and nutrition around a busy traveling schedule. I want to record 30 minute episodes and release one episode per week starting August 1st. I will register for a podcast starter course on February 1st and complete it by April 1st. The podcast will share a personal passion of mine with others, informing them of the best ways to tackle your nutrition and take care of your health while enjoying the journey and to provide a side income to support my family. That is beginning to end smart goal instead of I'd like to start a podcast this year. Da-da-da. You know, see, so you have to do, break it down one goal at a time. Once you go through like what I shared, my examples, write them in there, each line. And then at the end, you can write it out across the bottom or flip it up onto the back and write out your full smart goal from beginning to end. Um, so that's what I have for you guys today. So it's time to break down your goal. If you feel like you have set a resolution January 1st and now it is January 10th and you've already fallen off the wagon, or maybe your expectations of you going all in were a little off and didn't work out, that's okay. Just because we fell off the wagon from our resolution does not mean that we can't get back on and work towards our goals. We are 10 days in to 365 days. You have plenty of time left. So instead of feeling like you need to throw it all in and quit, throw in the towel, or you need to start with 10 new things today or tomorrow to work towards your goal, pause, back up, slow down, write out your SMART goal, be specific, post it somewhere where you're going to see it, maybe take the sheet and tape it up by your desk, maybe put it in a binder you look at every day at work, maybe you Tape it next to your mirror in your bathroom so when you get ready, you see it. Something that reminds you about this SMART goal. Um, And I want to see yours or I want to hear yours. So once you go through this, I want to hear your SMART goal. So share it in this group. Um, You can share it under the event in a post or if you want to just post it in this video, that is great too. Or you can take a picture of your goal planner that you printed out here. Um, And highlight your why and your who. So the why and the who is part of the relevant. Highlight that on your paper so it pops out to you. Um, And then we're going to use those in the next video. That is part two of the five part guide resolution reboot that we are doing for the month of January. So um, share those below if you're feeling up to it and we will see you in the next video. Um, if you are not able to find this, put guide below and I will take you in the post. I will post it on the feed in our educators first group so that you can go and find it Print it out. There is a page I'm going to point out in here that I'm going to share some podcasts for you guys. I love podcasts, obviously. Um, But I'm going to share some in here. And actually, if you click on the guide um, on your computer or your phone or whatever, you're going to be able to click on these actual links and it'll bring you to the exact podcast. So make sure you share this guide somewhere um, in your tabs on your computer or maybe save it onto your background on your phone. Um, Just so you can go in and click on the links and get brought right to the podcast. I'll try and copy and paste those in this group too, just in case you're not able to get that to work and that's totally fine. Um, But those will be working on too and those will be a little extra just to help you work towards your goals and go a little more in depth than what I've shared so far in these videos. So that's all I've got. So I will be jumping on here in a little bit to do part two. Um, and then after part two today, I will jump on next Monday to do part three. So I'm going to give you a little bit of time to work through the part one and part two to fill out these papers and then come ready next Monday. Um, and we'll work on part three. So they all build up. So make sure you do part one first and then watch the video on part two and continue working through it. So I hope you guys have a great day and we will see you later.